some words from our valedictorian. Mitch is one of our lifers, having been at the academy for all seven years. He's active in nearly every aspect of the school, from the arts to clubs to student government to sports to academic competition. Let me give you some background on our poster child. <laughs> Even just listening, the highlights of his career might take longer than his speech, so I'll try to keep it brief. Mitch has been in every school play since his arrival, every single school play since his arrival in sixth grade. He's acted professionally, and he's qualified for state drama competition several times. He's
I know that is a huge task. I also know that everybody here can do it. I've spent seven years with the people sitting with me today. Of course, not everyone has been here for seven years, and many have left over the seven years. If you bear with me for a moment, I have a short story that proves just how unique we are. When I first came to Charter in the sixth grade, I knew virtually nobody. One of the few people I did know was Brett Baldwin. Banding together with the throngs of wild students, we made our way into the NPR to hear the administration talk and welcome us to the academy. I don't remember much, but I do remember then Mr. Nikolai, vice principal, speaking. He asked everybody in the room to look at everybody on either side of them. One of those people would not be with us at graduation. As many of you know, and everyone should know, Brett isn't sitting among us. <laughs> Neither is the girl that sat on my other side, nor the people that sat directly in front or behind me, or all around me. I was a little island left alone. <laughs> in fact, of the sixth grade class that started here, only 16 of us made it. The story has an important moral. Mr. Nikolai should never teach probability. <laughs> 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 Yet our little ragtag band of 16 sixlet misfits knew so many more who either stand here today just as accomplished as us or made a lasting impact on our lives during their stay at Charter. Our school careers are filled with the fondest of memories and shenanigans. Of course, I can only speak for myself, but my academia was filled with interesting offshoots that resulted in movie making, song parroting, hide and go seek in the middle of biology, ping pong game theory and finite mathematics, and countless other misadventures, misadventures that I'm sure the administration is probably really curious to hear about. <laughs> and all of this was just in the last year. <laughs> now, I don't want to wish to speak of our dreams, because dreams remind me of inception, and I'd rather not wake up. <laughs> Talking of goals merely reminds me of soccer, and life is not like soccer. In fact, I prefer not to think of life as a game, probably because the game of life always ended with me in the retirement slums. <laughs> I will avoid the issue of love for the reason that I'm a teenage boy, and do not wish to be drawn into a drawn-out conversation about the notebook. <laughs> Instead, I want to shift my speech to the topic I cannot speak of our various futures. Some of us have no inkling what lies ahead of us in the next four years, let alone the next week. But right now, in this room, we have each other. For one last time in a long while, we are all together sharing one last memory. Right now is the culmination of all of our education, and we are wearing dresses and the strangest looking hats known to mankind. <laughs> <laughs> simply saying goodbye to the people that changed my life and are moving on to a turbulent future. No matter where we go, all of us are leaving our place of comfort. I always joked that Charter was my home away from home since I spent so much time within its walls. Only now do I look back and realize that it never was a joke. So it ends. After such a long time and so many unforgettable people and experiences, we're no longer high schoolers. When we receive the coveted pieces of paper and ink, we take on our new identities. I've had an amazing time with everyone here and not here. Thank you all, and congratulations to the class of 2012, the greatest class to pass through Charters Halls.